Hello everyone, Ace here, and today I've decided to talk about another ESRB fail. However, this video is going to be a little more than just that, because with today being September the 11th, I've decided to specifically talk about how a kid's game from 1994 ended up predicting and depicting 9-11. So today, let's talk about Urban Strike, which was originally released for the SNES, Sega Genesis, Game Gear, and Game Boy. Although specifically, we're going to be talking about the SNES version, which was given the ESRB rating of K to A. Now, long-time viewers will already know what this means, but for those who are new, the ESRB rating of K to A is Kids to Adults, and is what the ESRB used to use before replacing it with the E for Everyone rating, all the way back in 1998. Though one notable difference between the two A ratings is that while E for Everyone is rated for ages 7 and up, the original K to A rating was rated for ages 6 and up. As to why I'm talking about the SNES version specifically and not, say, for example, the Sega Genesis version, well, the reason is because the Sega Genesis version used a completely different age rating system known as the VRC system and was given the more reasonable age rating of MA13, which is the VRC equivalent to T for Teen. However, there are only a few differences at most between these two versions, the most notable for this video being that the Sega Genesis version shows how the evil terrorists actually blew up the World Trade Center, in this case using a satellite laser. However, all the other content, such as, for example, the scene where a guy gets assassinated with a car bomb at the start of the game, that is all still within the SNES version. But let's move back to the New York City mission itself and the World Trade Center segment of that mission. This actually occurs fairly late in the campaign, and even the World Trade Center segment occurs later on in the mission itself. Though this being an open world level design, you can visit the Twin Towers pretty much whenever you want. That said, once you're supposed to be there, your main objective is to rescue some NAFTA members by flying into a massive gaping hole in the South Tower and picking him up that way. One of them will provide some helpful hints for your next objective, which once you rescue enough NAFTA members, you discover that the terrorists have placed a bomb on the South Tower to finish the job that the space laser started, and now it is up to you to defuse it. You can, however, screw up, and if you do, well, this happens. So yes, the South Tower has been completely destroyed in this event, and you're told to return to base. And when you do, you are greeted with the following message, quote, The idea was to save the World Trade Center. Don't get so wired next time. So this is a kid's game, not only in which you can accidentally blow up the South Tower, but if you do, the game ends up making a joke about it in the game over screen. The 90s were very much a different and better time. There is one other final detail that I do need to bring up. That being that this game not only predicted that the World Trade Center would be attacked by terrorists, but it also predicted to the year that this happened, because the game is set, of course, in the futuristic year of 2001. So yes, this classic of a game, which is sadly largely overlooked these days, turned out to be quite prophetic as well. So yeah, that's pretty much all that really needs to be said about how Urban Strike is yet another example of an ESRB fail, even if you consider the fact that 9-11 hadn't exactly happened happened yet at the time that this game originally came out. Still, I hope that you have all at least found this story to be interesting, if nothing else. But in any case, this has been Ace. Hope to see you guys again soon. Take care. Ace out.